Okay, I just got one of these delivered. I have not actually seen any reviews of this particular model. Uh, this is only about three months old, I guess it first came out. So I'll just do a quick overview of this. Uh, it does say Extreme Performance Plus 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 Plus. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to fucking rage. So we'll check it out. All right, so this does have the uh, slider. So uh, there's no cap; it just slides like most. I think most of the other models, uh, all, most of the other Patriot style ones do. So I uh, will do some speed tests here, and then a real world transfer. I'm going to going to use a 20.7 gig folder. I'm going to copy over to the drive, um, and these are all video games that I 100% legally own, of course. So lay off me, and uh, so we're going to start the transfer. This is a folder containing 20.7 uh, gig of files, so let's get it started. And I'll probably throw in some funny music here to speed things up. Okay, this took about four minutes to complete. Again, that was 20.7 gig of files. Uh, average between 80 and about 95 uh, on the top end, so. And this is how the drive comes out of the box. It is uh, FAT32 formatted, as you'd expect. It uh, looks like it eats up about 15 or 16 gig uh, just by default. So the actual space is around 230 gig uh, instead of the 256 that you'd expect. Uh, pretty much normal. Now it does advertise uh, 400 uh, for the read speed. Uh, I didn't get anything really close to that. I got about uh, 230 to f 240 uh, it topped out at uh, for the larger files. And then, of course, just like pretty much every USB stick, it kind of slows down once you get to the really small files, which is kind of irrelevant. So uh, if you're new to this particular benchmark, don't worry about that green line going down because that's, uh, that's pretty much every USB stick out there. The write speed uh, looks like it topped out around 94 uh, at its at most, and usually hovered more around 50 uh, prior to that. And then again, for the really small files, it uh, went way down. But again, that's not unexpected. Now the real question is, will this still perform this quickly in four months or six months or one month even? So uh, I may add something to the description depending on what happens with that. I'll cross my fingers. So that'll do it for this review. Uh, again, it doesn't really come close to the advertised 400 for me, but honestly, at this point with uh, USB sticks, I don't really expect that to happen. So uh, it's not bad. Uh, might be a little bit pricey, and I don't know if it's worth a few extra bucks over the ol older model uh, Black and Blue Rage 2, whatever it's called. But uh, there you go. That's it. So I'm off to go f***ing rage!